Hello people of Spirit and possibly from my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on my plugin Talking Bot. And so let's first go over the features and stuff of it. You can skip through if you already know all this and you're just looking at it. So right now it is $2.99 on Spigot and here it is. It's in the premium stuff. So the Talking Bot is a very neat plugin which allows you to talk to a fully customized bot on your server. How it works is if you say the bot's name, which is configurable, or a sentence containing the bot's name, it will respond. Take a look down to see how the config works with this, it's infinite. So this is just saying the toggling feature is going to be added next update. It was, I didn't know there was a glitch with it last time, so I'm going to add it this time. Here's the server you come on test it on, and he's not set up all the way in there, so he won't respond to everything you say. So um, here are the commands, talking about toggle. Actually, that's in the next update, but talking about reload, it'll probably be up by your seeing this. But, so reload and toggle, and I actually need to make that italicized. I have like mini OCD. Mm -hmm. Permissions talking about that interact, talking about that toggle, talking about that reload. Permission to talk, to toggle, and to reload it. And here are the features. It's fully customizable, which I'll show you in a second. And you can change the bot's name, you can change the bot's prefix, you can change the bot's messages, you can change the sentences it can read from. Ran you can have random message for every combination, so it chooses from a list. It allows for adding on to messages that already have strings, which is a little complex, but I'll show you in a second. It's pre-made with sentences to users down here, I'll show you in a second. Um, it, you can toggle whether you receive messages on or not. Once again, I'm going to add that back. Change the response time of your bot. If none of the sentences are matching, you pull randomly from the no match list so the bot says something no matter what. It ignores special characters in the end of the sentence or at the beginning or, yeah, beginner or end. And it has, or actually in the middle too. Color support, lightweight, compatible with any plugin, and premium support if needed. Because even with my free plugins, I come on to people's servers for hours if they need it. I can remember on one I went for hours, but that's a different story. How it works. Your customizable bot reads from the config and matches what the player says if it, if it contains their name in it. If you look below, each sentence is broken up by words. So if you wanted your bot to say something like, hello, when it when a player says, hello there, Jeff, you put this in the config. And I actually need to update this too. This should be a string list, but I haven't actually looked through this. <laughs> so it'd be, ignore this. That's just to mark it. So hello there, Jeff, and it would read this. It would be string this once again. It reads a message on the last word, which is here, and it says it is a server. And I'm going to add that after the toggle thing. Here's an example of a pre configured sentence Jeff, do you like pizza when it's extra easy? So that's what it looks like. So, drop something. <laughs> so, here's that's just default, by the way. You can change that. Here's the configuration. There are some dirty jobs in here, but not really. I don't care. You can change them all. So here we go. The name that triggers the code. Actually, I'll go through this config when it actually loads. So I'll do that later. Notes. Don't put another word under. So I need to update this too. I haven't actually looked at this. But here. make sure to have four spaces on your first word under sayings. And two for every word after that. You will get errors if you don't put them accordingly. Here it is shown. Sayings. Four spaces. Jeff. And then two after every consecutive one after that. It's You'll get the hang of it once you do it. Don't do this don't use one string or one apostrophe just use two of them so like i'll show you that too for the repeat section is that for adding on the strings like jeff say welcome so it could read jeff say welcome back too just list out any sentences which add on to a sentence above that that already has a string and give your message here you may also add as many as you would like but don't forget the four spaces for each i'll explain that too here's a to do list broadcast message randomizer for each message wait oh i should remove that too <laughs> Uh, I haven't gone through this. Put your IDs in the section and, and the terms of service when you buy it. Upon purchase, you agree that you're not redistributing this plug in any way without permission from the owner, Jordan16. You may also not decompile this plugin and look at the code. All purchases are final and you will not receive a refund unless granted by Jordan16. And this is a review. You can read that if you want. Okay, so now we can move on to actually loading the plugin. So, how it works, I hope you know how you do this before you buy it. We open your spigot server or bucket. I, I haven't tested on bucket, but I'm on spigot 1.9.2. Oh, yeah. And then you go into plugins and don't look there. There's my secrets. And you just drag it in. And then you go back here 
and you start up your server and I'm not going to show you this but it will start up and I'll open it back up when it starts up in the plugins it will make a talking about ignore this I, I don't know but what that is actually wow that's great so this all this obviously works on ser host ran servers too I'm just using it on here for simplicity so then it creates the config and you have this big config of stuff which I'll go through in a second but first let's go in game and here's the console I'll let you see it while we start so we're gonna actually I'm not gonna let you see that it's not important and it might show stuff. I don't look at the console too much, so. <laughs> so here we can see we've joined the game and everything's normal. Let's say Jeff, let's say something. So I'm actually gonna do this side by side here because it'll be easier to understand what's happening. So let's first go through everything. Uh, the commands first. So we have talking bot, anchor accuses, toggle, reload. Toggle isn't released yet, it's just on my dev version or whatever you want to call it so that's what that's a preview if you want so here you have the prefix prefix which is shown here and the name you have to change this to what you want to be like the code will recognize it as so if you say I don't know but that's just how it recognizes it as this won't affect it you have to put it there too so here response read in ticks and this will be something someone only says the bot name so see if I just spam Jeff here He's going to say a bunch of things, and it's going to choose from this list, just one of them. And then there's a, there's some notes here, but I'm going to say them too. So, sayings, Jeff, take a hike. Well, no wonder that didn't work. It, it wasn't, had, I didn't have a string list. I didn't put that right in the Eclipse config. So, all you need to do is fix that talking about reload. Reloads it. And now, Jeff, take a hike. And he'll say it, and... Also, the endings like you do woo and that will work. And woo. Jeff, take a hike. It works with the combinations, except for backslashes. I'm sorry about that. So that's that. So it reads it like Jeff and then take and then a hike. As you can see, it goes by words. It can get confusing, but once you get the hang of it, it's really easy. So if I want to say Jeff, um, let's see. Jeff, why do you like Justin Bieber? So you just go one tab here, and since I'm on Notepad Plus, let's have to do this. Why do you like, and then add another one, two spaces, Justin, another one, two spaces, I don't know how to spell his name, I'm sorry, Bieber. And then you put the, the string list under it, and you'd say, because he's, I'm not gonna finish that actually. So, <laughs> because he excel, it will read why Jeff. Why do you like Justin Bieber? And I also check for it. Do you like? Do you eat humans? It's not gonna check the like. It's gonna check you like and you eat, and then the sections under that. It can get confusing. So, talking bot reload, and then. This video is actually gonna be really helpful because you, you. I want you to see if you find you can find them mistaken in here and if you do you are ready for this three two one well the mistake is there's an imposter here and there should be two so that will now fix it and now it will actually work jeff do you like and then that and la 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 and you could also check for jeff why do you and then the eat string eat humans no work and also check check the robots one like that so for this I'll add another string to show you the randomizer part. I'll just say one for now. And two. Make sure you have the things on the end, the apostrophes. So talking about reload and then Jeff, why do you like Justin Bieber? Now I'll choose from one of those. Now it's not that random because it's just from three, but it will eventually get one. See it's one. It is still per evenly random though, if you're wanting it's just chances. So yeah, that's all that, and this this is a repeating section we'll get to. So it basically has it for everyone. These lines are like are helpful if you're using a YAML configurator. And so, like I said, Jeff, the main one, and then it's checking these words and checking the words under those. So it, it's really cool and easy to understand once you get it. 
and there are placeholders you can use like player like this so Jeff do just do I know that Jeff do you eat animals and I'll say I uh, I didn't reload it haha <laughs> I'm so bad at tutorials so see it says your name there you can also add colors just trust me that that works <laughs> Then here's the repeat section. This is helpful when you're not. It's just you can use this or this part. You can use whichever you want, basically. But if you have something like Jeff say welcome, Jeff say welcome, he's gonna say that, and that's up there. And then you. It, but if you added welcome back under it, it wouldn't work. So instead of checking up there, it's gonna check down here, and it's gonna say Jeff say welcome back, and it's gonna read this. And you can also choose a random from this one. So. Once again, I'll just say one, and that will also work. So just say welcome back. It can, yeah. So that's basically just for repeating ones. So if you have eat watermelons goodly, let's just say eat watermelons. You want a response, and eat watermelons goodly. You want a response. You'd put the goodly one down here, and that's re useful. Or you could just use this for the whole thing. It doesn't matter. It's gonna check both. So that's helpful. And these are the messages. Toggle on, toggle off, incorrect usage, no permission, and reloaded. So that is the config, and that's basically everything we needed to go through. So let's just show you how to... I guess I'll go over this one more time, but you can end the video now. And like I put these in here and say, like, Jeff, who is your creator? I don't know if this will work. Yeah, I spelled it wrong. Yeah, I don't know what oh, I put it at, but so there's some joke, there's some jokes and stuff in here that you might want to change if you have like anything. Jeff, here, here's an example. Jeff, what are you? You could remove this and because it has my name in it, unless you want to get me quite at. And then there's also Jeff, how much do you cost? Much do you cost? And it'll say it'll send the link. So you might want to remove those, but I just put it in there for the people who don't notice. So cost, weigh, and stuff. And you can also do stuff like much do you, and then put that there, and then copy it with you, so it checks both instead of putting it in repeat. So, yeah. And by the way, this this is a term encoding for getting the time of something. So that's not an error generated. But this is my favorite. Jeff, what's your favorite movie? Yes, that's mine too. Okay, so that's basically it. It comes preloaded with all these. I didn't just add these. So it has all these, and I actually need to update it so people don't get errors from this one. I forgot to update it, so I'll do that right now. And while I'm uploading this video, or rendering it. So I hope to see you having this plugin on your server, and I'll come on and help you. Like I said, I help like for hours, even with my free resources, because I have no life. So yeah. Thank you for watching this, and I hope that you like the plugin. Thank you. Goodbye.